everybody please open your books to page 6 unit 1 getting to know you in this unit we will learn first of all we will learn about tenses and questions so i would like to explain tenses first so there are three tenses in english the first one is simple present we use simple present to express actions that happen all the time for example i play football daily fatima goes to school every day these are the actions that happen daily now when we use singular subject for example he she it ali ahmed fatima the verb ends in s or es it means we add s or es at the end of the verb for example she cooks not cook she cooks dinner he works not work he works he works in an office and it rains a lot not rain it rains a lot when the subject is plural like or they or if the subject is i we use verbs first form without any addition of s or es at the end of the verb for example i play here we don't say i plays i play because the subject is i or i play tennis we study not studies we study at the university you go to class etc thank you uh, the second ten, uh, tense that is used here in this unit unit is simple past we use simple past to express an action of the past for example he played tennis yesterday she went to aba last year in these two sentences they did the action in the past in past simple we use verbs second form or past form after subject for example we use played not play play played go went eat ate walk walked and the last tense that is used here is future going to for future let's look at our phrase be plus going to plus what now we use this phrase to talk about a planned activity in the future for example he is going to meet his grandfather next sunday i am going to eat with friends tonight they are going to play football tomorrow morning usually we talk about our plans in the near future are the answers for a starter on page number 6 these are the answers for activity 1 on page number 6 unit 1 these are the answers for activity 2 on page number 7 are the answers for activity 3 on page number 7 these are the answers for grammar spot on page number 